Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to English class. In the previous class, we have started third lesson of Unit Three, the book of nature. It is a, it is one of the letters of Jawaharlal Nehru's letters from my father to his daughter. Nehru returned to his twelve-year-old daughter Indira in the summer of nineteen twenty-eight. Then. In that class, we discussed about the book named "The Letters from a Father to His Daughter." It's a collection of letters written by Jawaharlal Nehru to his daughter Indira Pradeshini. The lesson, "The Book of Nature," is one of those letters, and only first two paragraphs were. We have taken, and in that paragraph, tell us Nehru's advice and his communication with his daughter about nature. Not only about nature, about everything. He asked his daughter. to study the nature from the nature itself he is telling her if you want to know about the nature you go to nature and study from the earth from the rocks and stone then let's start next paragraph third one take Textbook page number nine zero nineteen. You will, I hope, soon begin to learn how to read this story from the rocks and mountains. Imagine how fascinating it is. Every little stone that you see lying on the road or on the mountain side. Maybe a little page in nature's book, and maybe able to tell you something if you only knew how to read. Nehru says, "If you want to know about the nature, you go to nature itself and read the story of nature from the rocks and stones." When you see a small stone in the roadside or in the mountain side, it will tell you something. It has to speak with you. Then, but if you only knew how to read it, but you are really kind of not. Just you are calling me, boy. I am not going to do anything. But that is not enough. ഹിന്ദിംഗ് First of all, we should learn its alphabet. So, also you must learn the alphabet of nature before you can read her story in her books of stone and rock. Before going to read the book of nature, you should learn the alphabet of nature. Then, even now, perhaps you know a little how to read. If you don't know, you can't read it. You can't read it. 
with the alphabet of nature without the alphabet of nature we can't read the book of nature if you see a little round shiny pebble does it not tell you something how did it get round and smooth and shiny without any corners or rough edges if you see a little round shiny pebble what is name of pebble angalla ellarum kalle oru round shiny pebble kandu kaniyal does it not tell you something a pebble nu ninnode endo parayan thonnille how did it get round and smooth, smooth and shiny adu enganeyana ingane round aayi smooth aayi shiny aayidennu parayan undu without any corners or corners or edges corners of allengil edges so illatha ഇത്രയും സ്മൂത്ത് ആയത് എങ്ങനെയാണെന്ന് അതിന് പറയാനുണ്ടാവും പറയാനുണ്ടാവില്ലേ ഇഫ് യു ബ്രേക്ക് എ ബിഗ് റോക്ക് ഇൻ ടു സ്മോൾ ബിറ്റ് ഈച്ച് ബിറ്റ് ഈസ് റഫ് ആൻഡ് ഹെൽസ് കോർണേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് റഫ് അഡ്ജസ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് അറ്റ് ഓൾ ലൈക്ക് എ റൗണ്ട് സ്മൂത്ത് പെബിൾ ഇഫ് യു ബ്രേക്ക് എ ബിഗ് റോക്ക് ഇൻ ടു സ്മോൾ ബിറ്റ് ഒരു വലിയ കല്ലെടുത്ത് നമ്മൾ വലിയ കരിങ്കല്ലെടുത്ത് നമ്മൾ കട്ട് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ചെറിയ ബിറ്റ്സ് ആക്കി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് അറ്റ് ഓൾ ലൈക്ക് റൗണ്ട് സ്മൂത്ത് പേബിൾ നമുക്ക് എങ്ങനെയാണ് കിട്ടുക ഒരു റൗണ്ട് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സ്മൂത്ത് ആയിട്ടുള്ള പേബിൾ ആയിട്ടാണോ കിട്ടുക അല്ല വി വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് ദ റോക്ക് വിത്ത് റഫ് അഡ്ജസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് കോർണേഴ്സ് ദെൻ ഹൗ ദെൻ ഡിഡ് ദ പേബിൾ ബിക്കം സോ റൗണ്ട് ആൻഡ് സ്മൂത്ത് ആൻഡ് ഷൈനിങ് അപ്പോ ആ റോക്ക് എങ്ങനെയാണ് ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു പേബിൾ ആയിട്ട് മാറിയത് it will tell you its story if you have good eyes to see and ears to hear it the pebble will tell you its story engane anengil if you have good eyes to see and good ears to hear it aa parayna kadha kelkan nalla kannugalum nalla kelviyum undengil ennu vechal endana that means our interest okay it will tell you its story if you have good eyes to see and ears to hear it it tells you that once upon a time it may be long ago every story will start like that once upon once upon a time long long ago as like the people also will start its story once upon a time yeah it was a bit of rock just like the bit you may break from a big rock or stone with plenty of edges and corners alle pebble ene kadu parayumbo oru kaalathu nanu endayirunnu i was a bit of rock veli oru paarakashnathinte oru bhagam ayirunnu nanu with corners and edges probably it rested on some mountain side then came the rain and washed it down to the little valley where it found a mountain stream which pushed it on and on till it reached a little river and the little river took it to the big river and all the while it rolled at the bottom of the river and its edges were worn away thus the rough surface was made smooth and shiny so it became the pebble that you see somehow the river left it behind and you found it found it if the river had carried it on it would have become smaller and smaller till at last it became a grain of sand and joined its brothers at the seaside to make a beautiful beach where little children can play and make castles out of the sand once upon a time i was a bit of rock with corners and edges and it probably it rested on some mountain side alla malanjerulla the kore kaalam kedanittundava then came the rain pinna mala vannu then it washed and down to the little valley avade ninnum adu engottu vannundava vellathilude okke ആ ചെറിയ ഒരു വാലിയിലേക്ക് വന്നിട്ടുണ്ടാവാം ആൻഡ് ഫ്രം ദ അഗെയിൻ ഇറ്റ് വെൻ ടു ദി ലിറ്റിൽ 
went to the small river. Our Nina Madingo to carry the Pindavam, Uricharia River Lake, Poitava. Then from there again it moved to the big river. Our Nina Boyu River Lake, the Pindavam. And all the way, he oro proud city poculum. I think I'm going to be condemned. I'm going to be a rolly the rolly the turn of a poculum. I'm going to be a fight like this. I'm going to be a smooth eye, round eye. I'm going to be a son of river let them go. I'm going to be a guitar. I'm going to be a river. I'm going to be a guitar. I'm going to be a river. I'm going to be a river. And from the, the river left it behind and you find found it. If the river had carried it on, it would have become smaller and smaller till at last it became a grain of sand and joined its brothers at the seaside to make a beautiful beach. People are being to each other, each other, each other, each other, sand, I know. Like, grain of sand, that's what I get to know, Sanam. To the seaside, to make a beach. Beach, I want to know, but I didn't put it out of the thing. I shall show you that difference. This is a bit of big rock. This is a big rock. Okay. Then Okay. Then uh, it carried to the river. Again, uh, it became small. Then Then it became smaller and now also it has corners and rough edges. From there, again it carried and reached to the River, oh, this is the pebble we could see in the river. This is the beautiful pebble. Then pebble again changed to the sand to make a beautiful beach. This is the trans transformation of rock to a sand or to the pebble. How is the transformation? Can you imagine that? So a very long process is going on to make a grain of sand. Okay. Then, if a little pebble can tell you so much, how much more could we learn from all the rocks and mountains and the many other things we see around? If a little pebble can tell you so much, can tell you so much. Then, just imagine. How much more could we learn from all the rocks and mountains and many other things we see around us? We are going to see many other things. 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 So, Nehru insisting her to study the nature itself. From the study the nature from the nature itself. So, I am also telling you, study the nature, save the nature. It is our wealth. Okay? I think uh, you could understood the lesson well. Read the lesson four or five times. And if you have any doubt, ask me. Then let's move on to the activity, activity one. Take page number 92. I shall read. I am afraid. I can only tell you very little in these letters of mine. What does the expression I am afraid mean? I am afraid. I can only tell you very little in these letters of mine. This is a sentence of uh, Nehru said. What does the expression I am afraid mean? Choose the best option from those given below in the box. In the box they have given three options. That are Nehru is afraid to tell something. 
Nehru feels that Indira will be frightened. Nehru is doubtful whether his letters will not be sufficient to provide complete information. What is the correct answer for the question? You find out and send to me. Okay. First of all, write in your English notebook and send it. Then activity two. I think activity one you understood. One more time I shall tell you. I am afraid. I can only tell you very little in these letters of mine. What does the expression I am afraid mean? The first option, Nehru is afraid to tell something. Nehru feels that Indira will be frightened. Nehru is doubtful whether his letters will not be sufficient to provide complete information. Choose the correct answer. Activity 2. Nehru tells the story of a pebble. Read it. This is a story told by Nehru. Story of a pebble. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the stone was a bit of rock with plenty of edges and corners. Probably it rested on some mounding side. This is a story of a pebble. Then, imagine the pebble is telling its own story. How would the story be? It puts story one in the arena. Nehru is uh, Nehru tells the story of a pebble. The subject are I don't know, Nehru Barimbo. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the stone was a bit of a rock. The stone, I don't know, like Nehru, pebble nekushi barimbo, other subject are I don't know. The stone, I don't know. You just imagine the pebble is telling its story itself. How would the story be? You may begin like this. Every story will uh, start like this. Once upon a time, long, long ago, I was a bit of a rock. Subject is changed. The stone and the endai mare. Pebble soyam adinde kadavare involved. Adindai to mare. I, subject became I, nyan and nai mare. Already we have discussed about this. That is, one who one who tells about himself, that is autobiography, and one who tells about other person, that is biography. Oral soyam ayalda story on a parinadingil, other autobiography. Oral material story on a parinadingil, other biography. Apo, e paper adin de autobiography is on the jaricum. Subject in the iricum. I, a lay, I iricum adin de. The Harubaranja story laid the stone and died to Mari. I, I, Mari. Pebble one in the right. Okay. Once upon a time, long, long ago, I was a bit of a rock with plenty of edges and corners. Probably, I rested on some mountain side. Probably it rested on mountain side and I don't know. Other the Indian subject change I, 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 mark. As like one more activity I am going to give you. You write the story of pebble. You just write autobiography of a pebble. Pebble in the autobiography. The subject is the same. When I have a biography, you can write it as autobiography of a pebble. That is the activity I am going to give you today. And write and send to me today or tomorrow. Okay. Write in your English notebook and send. Okay. Uh, that is today's class. I think now we understood. And if you have any doubt, ask me. Uh, let's meet in the next class. Study well. Thank you. Have a nice day.